When math teacher Tom Farber got the numbers about his class supplies budget, he felt his students at San Diego's Rancho Bernardo High School were getting left out of the equation. Because I knew it was going to be cut by 30 percent. That's what we were, we were told. And then this. His biggest funding cut, paper for tests. At three cents a copy, his exams would eat up around 500 bucks a year, money he didn't have. I knew the budget was going to be the worst that it's ever been. So that's when I, I started uh, looking around and thinking of an alternative way to fund my classroom. For 10 to $30, you can have an inspirational quote or sponsorship message on paper. For their part, students don't seem to mind. I just think it's sad that that's what our budget has to come to. Uh, you know, I don't really think about it. I'm kind of concerned about my grades, so you know, I just kind of like gloss over it. Uh, you know, Archon Structural Engineering, they'll put a little quote, but it doesn't really mean anything to me. And neither do the administrators. Uh, it certainly has gotten a lot of media attention, which hopefully heightens the attention of just how much really good schools are even suffering through through some of the economic downturns. And but Mr. Farber says he didn't want to go this route in the first place. This is not something I see that's going to be happening year after year. I think this is a, a, a way to deal with an emergency financial situation and um, I would rather it not happen because if, if this would continue that means that we really haven't addressed the issue of how we fund education and how we take care of our kids. He's hoping funding his classroom by selling ad space and tests is not a never-ending formula. John Moan, The Associated Press, San Diego.